You are offered $1 million USD if you can hide a pair of car keys from the entirety of the FBI force for 7 days, where do you hide the keys? Easy. I just keep them on my person for a few hours, inevitably, I will lose them, and even the entirety of the FBI tearing apart my whole house won't be able to find the darn keys. Mail them to the FBI office, USPS Media Mail. A university janitor's keychain. Tape them on the FBI's back, the jingling will haunt them all week, and they'll never find it. Mail hundreds of decoys keys across the world to China and Russia and everywhere else that dislikes the idea of FBI agents going through their mail system dot and just leave the real keys in some random bush somewhere under a rock or something. Take the imprint of the keys, melt the keys. After 7 days, use that taken imprint mold to retrieve the keys. Easy, ask the CIA to hold them, those two don't share garbage. Take a vacation abroad, FBI aren't going to be very effective where they have zero jurisdiction. I'd bribe my way onto a container ship going anywhere in Asia that's registered to a non-US country, doesn't matter where, it's the trip distance I'm concerned with, not the destination, if they don't have to be returned, well once we're far enough out at sea, tossed, those ain't getting found 12,000 feet down, if they do? I'll hide them in a random container filled with stuff, even if the FBI determines I'm on the boat, once it's in international waters and since it's not a US ship, there's no jurisdiction to force it to turn around. I just need to hope they don't alert the Coast Guard before we hit the international boundary. And hash X200B. Put them in the mail, send them to an address that does not exist in a foreign country, they will come back in a few weeks, months. Duct tape it inside a Starbucks cup, drive to a part of town where tomorrow is garbage day, leave it in some random person's garbage bin by the street. I would call their office directly with a tip on where they are, and watch them never follow up on it. It's foolproof. Does the FBI know I'm the one with the keys? If not, I'd just keep them with me and use them as my actual keys, if they do know it's me, I lock them in a box and throw it in the Delaware. Deleted. I give them to my friend, who is conveniently going on a vacation with loan money. Put them in a magnetic key hider, and stick them under some random 18-wheeler at the local truck stop, while the FBI is hunting for the keys, I change out the locks in the car. FB comes screaming into my driveway with 60 seconds left on the clock, tries the keys, they don't work. FBI concludes they have lost. I get a million dollars. I'll put them in a sock, put the sock in the dryer, repeat until it goes to wherever socks go when they disappear from the dryer, downside, they'll be gone forever, edit, guys, I spelled it, dryer, instead of, dryer. In three hours, no one corrected me. I just, don't even know who you people are anymore. I'd tape them to my desktop and open incognito mode. Throw them in the ocean, never said I have to be able to retrieve them. I'll give them to my three-year-old to hide, good luck finding them after that. I stick them in my printer's ink cartridges, when the printer fails to work they will assume everything is normal. On the third page of Google search. Is destroying, disfiguring allowed? If so, I would take as many keys I could get my hands on and put them on different rings so that there is at least one almost identical match on four or five of them, and hide them in the following places one within a private property that has high security, like a bank, as the main decoy one underwater on the beach one out of the city one underground and one in a dead body at a morgue no reason in particular, I make all these trips very obvious, as they will definitely follow me, and after placing the one at the bank, pretend to have troubles with the car, but where I've really put it is at a grocery store I would stop at on the way, in the fresh produce aisle, why? As someone who worked at one, even though they try to keep stuff fresh with cold air and preservatives and stuff, it only lasts so long. They then toss it, where it goes to the compost, which is either reused or put in a dump. Either way, it has to move to several locations on the way, with many splits and such, and if they have enough manpower to search all the possible locations, give them a round of applause. Removed. Hide them inside a power supply inside a PC inside a box inside a bag inside a trash can inside the side gate of an abandoned house a few blocks away. Assuming I get a day of prep time, and that I can't darnage the keys to the point that they are unrecognizable, 1. Microwave the keys, gotta fry any electronics inside of them. Point 2. Buy a key ring, and a heart-shaped key chain. 3. Write a time and date on the key ring, along with a phone number. Call at this date 4, walk up to a random person, do a small favor for them, tell them to do a favor for someone they care about then give them the keys, and to keep the chain going. 5. Chaotic system created. 
I don't know where the keys are, the FBI has to get a warrant for every person in the chain, and if the keys are lost, or thrown in the garbage? All the better. Good luck finding them. There's a small chance that the FBI will find, be given the keys, but I like my odds. Uh, I'd just leave them on an airplane, if the airline can't find my Nintendo Switch that I left on it, I doubt anyone is gonna find some keys, edit, well, this blew up quite amazingly, thanks for the silvers, and now my highest rated comment is a passive aggressive projection to an airline about something that's my own fault, second edit, I'm aware someone most likely has it, and I probably won't see it again. Yeah, was gonna say up my butt but my uncle works for the FBI. I'll turn them into tiny little keys. Then I put those keys in a box, put that box inside another box. I'll mail that box to myself and when it arrives, I'll smash it with a hammer. Plain sight, I pretend to use them as my real car keys. Fluffing easy money. I can think of several locations, inside of my hot water storage system tank, cut a piece of framing timber, bore a hole in it, place keys inside and secure it to another piece of framing in the roof or under the house, take a new large candle drill a hole in the underside, insert the keys, fill back up with the wax shavings, place it in the oven so it melts back up and wrap it back up like new. Nice try FBI chief. You're not slick. I'll let you know when the 7 days are up, edit underscore ok, I couldn't wait 7 days, but doing a quick search no one seems to have mentioned my hiding place, which is a huge plus, lolso, I'm guessing the rules for this would be that you had to recover the key at the end of the 7 days and not destroy it, otherwise you could just totally destroy it or just throw it somewhere it's impossible to get, which would be more, loosing, than hiding, or you could attach them to a helium balloon and wave goodbye to ever seeing them again as they floated off into the sky, so, my hiding place is a two-part thing, first part is to make copies of the key, these will be placed in obvious, but not so obvious hiding places, hole in the ground, under floorboards in the house, safety deposit box, locker, po box, posted to me, etc. So if one is found I can pretend it's the real one and wait out the seven days then inform them it's not, I figure I'd be followed to any location to hide it, it is the FBI and a million dollars we're talking about, so the hiding place would have to be pretty good and not an obvious one, somewhere along the way of places you're supposed to be, not out of the ordinary, so you couldn't just fly to another country, because this would be totally obvious that you have gone there to hide it, I would glue some magnets to the keys, or put them in a small metal box with magnet if they have some kind of keyless entry signal, whilst out shopping find a shelf that is metal, lower down so it's out of eye view, and whilst browsing for my weekly shopping, stick it to the underside of a shelf, no one would suspect because I would have already thrown them off by hiding the decoy keys by making it obvious I'm going to locations to hide them. In my panties, no one ever looks there. Sad face, edit, go figure. My highest rated comment ever is about me stuffing keys in my panties, and my inbox isn't too bad, however, do not take that as a personal challenge. Keys go in a plastic easter egg, the easter egg goes in your anus. It'll have to come out for you to poop, and it'll have to go back in after. You'll have to learn to do it without lube because if you always carried lube with you it might tip them off, also, you will need to not move very fast because you might rattle. This is Montana, where don't I hide them? This question would have been better if the keys you hide for 7 days opens up a box for the 1 million dollars so you can't do something insane like the first person who said, throw them in the ocean. This reminds me of a story. One time my when we were little like under 3 my dad lost his keys. Turned the house upside down, even tried to talk to two toddlers trying to figure out if we had hide them, it had just snowed. So my poor dad is outside cold miserable slowly going over the snow with a rake. My mom walks up behind him and pulls the keys out of his back pocket. They had been there the whole time. Kinda feel like going and throwing them in a snow bank or a freshly snowed parking lot that is about to be shoveled and removed. Do I need to be able to get them back? If not, I'd just toss them down a gopher hole here on the ranch, way out back in the pasture, with the amount of random metal bits laying around after a century of farming, you're never finding them with a metal detector. In the middle of either the summer or the winter, you'll need a pick to move any of that hard native soil, good luck finding my soft moccasin tracks on dry ground among sheep and cattle prints galore. And between the gopher activity and the millions of identical holes, they are likely gone for good, they wouldn't even know which square mile to start looking on. Put them in my pants, no one is ever trying to get into my pants. Take them to Home Depot and hide them in plain sight with the key blanks. What is my perfect crime? I get the keys at midnight, do I store them in a vault? 
No, I hang them from the chandelier, it's priceless, as I'm hanging them up, a woman catches me, she tells me to stop, it's her father's chandelier. She's Tiffany. I say no we make love all night, in the morning, the FBI comes and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico, but I go to Canada. I don't trust her, besides, I like the cold, 30 years later, I get a postcard. I have a son and he's the head of the FBI, this is where the story gets interesting. I tell Tiffany to meet me in Paris by the Trocadero. She's been waiting for me all these years. She's never taken another lover. I don't care. I don't show up. I go to Berlin. That's where I stashed the keys.